everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel, how do you do? <laughs> Today I wanted to try some new makeup. I've got a few new bits and pieces that I really wanted to try and I'm excited to give a go. This stuff isn't necessarily new releases but it's things that are new to me and that I really want to try. I've got some CYO, I've got some Lancome, Glam Glow and also last but not least the Naked Honey palette that we're going to be playing around with today. So without further ado let me zoom you on in and we'll get right on into it. Okay so I think I'm gonna start out with my base today because I really want to do like a blown out look with my eyeshadow. I'm just not bothered about it being like all crisp and clean today. First of all I'm gonna start out with this Glam Glow Glow Starter. I saying that five times fast. Um, <laughs> I get illuminating moisturizer. I see makeup by Missa talking about this all the time. Very liquidy. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh that smells amazing. It smells like vanilla and coconut. Maybe a little bit of lime in there. Ooh. Feels really nice and soft on the skin and it has left a little bit of luminosity. Actually that's made my skin, I wouldn't say smoothed, it's just kind of like evened me out quite nicely. It hasn't like helped my pores or anything though. They're less visible than what it would look without that so it might be slight pore refining. This is just like a baby sample I got in a Christmas gift and the actual thing is very expensive so Mm, I hope I don't like it too much. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go straight in with foundation next. And I've got this Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear foundation. I've got two samples of it in two different shades. Now, I really don't think either of these shades are gonna be good for me. I tried to get like one of the paler shades, but the woman at the counter was just like, I don't think you're that pale. And I was like, I'm wearing a high neck jumper, but okay. <laughs> She's given me samples of 011 Beige Crystalline. Crystalline? Crystalline? and 021 Beige Jasmine. I've never been beige in my life. Let's just do a little kind of swatch test, shall we? For God's sake, man. These are just never, they'd never be my shade. This is the shade 21. I actually blended out that, <laughs> that doesn't look that bad, but like on my hand, it looks very orange. Oh no, in real life it looks a lot more orange. <laughs> and then shade 11 is more of a neutral tone, which is probably the one I'm gonna try today. You know what, that doesn't look that bad, but it does not match this part of my neck, which is usually what I match to. My face is darker than the rest of me, and I like to match, you know, with the rest of me. So that's kind of annoying, but you know what? We're gonna go with shade 11 today. My skin feels really soft after that moisturizer, the way feels really good. I'm gonna be trying this sponge from Spectrum today. I've never tried any of their sponges, so I'm excited to give this a go. It is damp already. We're locked and loaded and ready to go. I feel like I'm missing a step. Like, I feel like I haven't done enough steps to put foundation on yet. <laughs> All right, let's just put a little bit of this foundation down and let's try this sponge out. Hmm, what a great shade match, lady. <laughs> this is the lighter one out of the two as well. <sighs> I'm pissed. <laughs> this is so orange and I feel like it's getting worse. <laughs> Just give me the shade I wanted. I'm hoping I can salvage this with my concealer and everything. You can probably see like from a fresh application to my face now it's slightly oxidizing as well. The actual foundation though it does look very nice on the skin. This sponge is, it's got a bit on it and it is absorbing a little bit of product, but it's spreading it nicely though. And I feel like sometimes with sponges, you kind of need to use them a few times before they work really well with makeup, you know? I think I may try on this side of my face with a brush. I do actually like the softness of this sponge. It's, it's really nice. All right, let's try it with the brush. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a lot more coverage just going a lot further than with a sponge. I mean, I know kind of obvious, right? Just trying to even myself out a little bit. Go over with the sponge. Wow, I'm loving the way my skin is looking. Regardless of the shade, the way my skin actually looks so nice. It looks natural, but also glowy from that primer. Please don't tell me that I start loving that because it's so expensive. <laughs> Both products even, the foundation and also the moisturizer are expensive products. Mm -hmm. Can we just appreciate the shade difference? I told her I needed a paler shade. Like, I'd need to blend this down my whole body to match. Well, 
We're dealing with it for now. <laughs> I don't have a new concealer to try, but I'm gonna use one that I haven't used in ages. And it is the Tarte Shape Tape. So we're gonna give it a go. This is in the shade Just Fair. I think they might have newer shades since this one. Once upon a time, this was the lighter shade, I'm pretty sure. I wanna see if with the Laura Mercier powder, I prefer this more because I just thought this concealer was a bit meh. For me personally when I tried it and everyone was raving about it and I felt like I was doing something wrong. <laughs> Not even the fullest coverage. I love the, the e.l.f. concealer, you guys know I really like that one. I feel like the sponge that I'm using is absorbing some of the coverage so I'm just gonna leave this for a minute, kind of get a little bit thicker in consistency and I'm just gonna use this to lighten me up a bit. I know for a fact this foundation is way too dark for me and Shape Tape looks this pale on me because Shape Tape wasn't actually that light for me. The fact I can like reverse contour with this foundation shade, that uh, tells you something. <laughs> my base is actually looking pretty good right now. This is gonna be a new thing that I need in my life. <laughs> like I haven't used a pore filling primer at all and my skin looks really smooth. You guys know that I, you know, show you right up close, you see my pores. <laughs> a lot on this channel. I will do a close-up so you guys can see. Right? I feel like my skin looks so good right now. And in person as well. It's not just like, you know, through the camera lens. I may have to pick myself up these products. <laughs> my pores just look less visible. And it looks really like almost airbrushed and I haven't put like a powder on or anything. This is literally just the way that the foundation has set. I love how I look like I've got bronzer on because of that. <laughs> foundation okay we need to we need to carry on <laughs> all right i just realized that i wasn't filming the next part which was basically just me baking my concealer i added a bit more of the tart shape tape because my blueness was kind of coming through and then i just baked and i'm just gonna leave that there to see if i like the concealer more i did try this as well it's the cyo meet your matte matte press powder and i just kind of dusted this lightly all over the face just kind of set my foundation i was worried that this shade was going to be too dark but actually on the skin at the moment worked really well for me um, and it's just kind of mattified me down and kind of blurred my skin. Definitely look kind of makeup-y but smooth at the same time. I'm gonna continue trying this out and I'm gonna put it in my bag and stuff and see how it works for like touch-ups and things. Now I'm gonna try this contour kit which is by CYO. The name of it is called Girls on Contour and it's the fair contour kit. It looks like this. I originally thought that it might be a bronzer but it is more of a contour color. I'm using my little spectrum set that I got for Christmas. How cute is this? <laughs> little kind of blush brush um, and I'm going to use this to try and contour today. I'm just putting it on one side of the brush so we can get that kind of snatched look you know. So let's just try this. Did that do anything? <laughs> I can't work out if it did or not. Okay. I'm going to a little bit more. Okay, I can see it's slightly just about working, like it's a very buildable powder, which looking in the pan, I don't think you would have guessed that. Like I was kind of scared of this colour, I'm not gonna lie, but now putting it on my face, it's not that scary. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit warmer than what I would go for a contour. I think I would use this more on the bronzer side. I do really like the fact though that it's very buildable, kind of, you know, going in a little bit heavy handed right now, and even then it's really soft. Okay, CYO. I won't be able to use this highlight in here. I'm just gonna swatch it. Feels kind of rough. <laughs> see. Hmm. Well, actually, it's not too bad shade wise. The actual product is just a bit like meh. Like, there isn't a lot of sheen to that. I may try it as a highlight once I've dusted off my bacon stuff. We shall see. It might actually be really good for nose contouring. I like to use a brush like this just because it's quick, it's easy. Sometimes I do go in and you know I use a little bit more precision when I'm doing my nose contour but I just don't, I just don't have the time. Not bad you know, not bad. I actually quite like that shade for my nose. For contour, again it is slightly on the warmer side but I think with the way my face is looking right now <laughs> it um, actually works quite well for a nose contour. Who would have thought? All right, I have this for blush, which again, isn't a new purchase, but it's one that I picked up and I don't think I've used it that much. It's the L'Oreal blush in the shade Nectarine. I think I may have used it like once or twice, but I honestly can't remember what I thought about it. This is the color, okay. I'm just hoping that when I use the Naked Honey palette, it's not too overpowering because I want that to be a moment by itself. I'm just going to pick up the very slightest amount of this and I'm gonna tap it out on the back of my hand as well. I'm just gonna blend this into my contour. Once I've picked a product and I put it on my hand, I always just dip back in 
to my hand I don't dip back into the product for one side and I feel like that way you just get the right amount of blush it's not too overpowering this blush color can go from like 0 to 60 very quickly <laughs> it is such a beautiful shade though Probably gonna have to do some veiling after this but it's fine I'm just gonna get rid of this bake I'm just gonna kind of like press it into the skin and then I'll dust away any excess. I'm just gonna dip my brush into the CYO Micha Matte Powder. <sighs> okay, it's fine, it, it didn't break, it's all good. <laughs> I'm just gonna dust this over the area. You know what? I think I do prefer that with the Secret Brightening Powder. Honestly, that powder has saved my under eyes, okay? <laughs> because my complexion is just a smidgen darker, <laughs> than what I usually am. I am gonna try the highlight in this contour kit. Okay, there is a hell of a lot of kick up and I'm not even using that much of a fluffy brush. Let's just see if we can get like a little bit of a glow with this. Okay, there's a little something there, just like a little sheen. Let's see if I can build it up a little. I feel like on camera it's looking a little bit more glowy than what it is in real life. It is a very, very subtle sheen to the skin. If you are looking for a very blinding highlight, this and kind of give that for you but if you like something kind of subtle you may like this if i'm honest though it's not very even it's showing quite a bit of texture on my skin here that i didn't quite realize was that <laughs> so if you have textured skin i wouldn't suggest using this highlight but i do like the contour in here it's pretty user friendly like it's very buildable i feel like when i am at my palest the contour color is going to be a decent kind of bronzer shade for me i'm going to quickly go do my brows off camera and then i'm going to zoom you guys in and we'll get to the excited urban decay naked honey palette so be right back and then we'll get right on to it all right my brows are on i've been really loving doing kind of like darker bushier eyebrows recently like they're kind of messy as well just prime my eyes with the p louise base in rumor one i'm gonna be using this dual ended brush by spectrum and i don't know where to start with this palette because it's all so beautiful let's dig right into the naked honey palette love that closure the fact that it's magnetic so satisfying <laughs> so i was thinking about doing a golden kind of smoked out liner so i think first of all to go just kind of roughly all over the lid i'm gonna take the shade warm okay there's quite a bit of kick up i just want to do like a light dusting all over the lid to almost set it but just add a little bit of that golden color all over it so i'm just taking the fluffy end and i'm just literally just applying it really roughly all over I'm gonna start winging it out ready for that kind of smoky eye that we're gonna be doing this is such a pretty transition shade I'm loving the fact that these are kind of different takes on browns if that makes any sense at all if you think of a normal brown it's quite warm and quite red toned but these are more golden and yellow toned I'm digging it now I'm gonna take the shade keeper on an angled brush again the pigment on these mattes is really good I'm gonna start building this up on the outer corner and start creating our kind of wing shape you can already kind of see it pulling out already just with those two eyeshadows laid down once i've applied the color i kind of blend the brush inwards to start that really soft blend of that color and these are super easy to blend out next shade i'm going to go into is drip and i'm using the same brush to use in the side of the brush to apply it and i'm going to go a little bit closer to the lash line What I like to do as well, instead of using the full surface of the brush, I'm just using the tip. Because this is angled, it makes it really easy to do that. So I'm just using the tip to create the flick blending. That way you don't have to switch over to a new brush, but you still get the precision that you want. With this kind of look, it's all about the blend and the build. It just takes a little bit of time and patience, but the outcome is always really nice. Now I'm gonna go into the deeper shade of the palette, which is called Sting. For this I am gonna go in with a smaller brush just so I can really focus it at the lash line. And I'm gonna take the Spectrum Brow Brush, I'm pretty sure this is. It's the A24. It's really, really thin. It's gonna be a good brush for getting right into the lash line. I'm pretty much just gonna use this as like a I'm just gonna go back in with my kind of blending angled brush and blend it all in and I'm using a very light hand when I'm blending it out If you've 
got hooded eyes this really helps it's more forgiving because you can blend the eyeshadow and it looks more like an ombre than an actual stark wing liner so if you want to try liner and you do have hooded lids and you find that's a struggle maybe try using a eyeshadow and create a kind of smoky liner because that will help give you the illusion but not be so harsh kind of want to extend my inner corner i saw raw beauty christy do this and i just really want to do it now i <laughs> don't know if the shadow is gonna give me the best effect we can try okay i actually really like that because it's done with eyeshadow it's still soft i do want to add a little bit of shimmer i'm gonna go in with the shade hbic i don't know if that's supposed to mean something <laughs> and pop it in the center of the lid just to kind of round it a little bit more because at the moment it just looks kind of flat so let's do that Ooh, actually a very very pretty shimmer it is quite shimmery and it catches the light nicely it's not overpowering you know i do want this to be tremendously soft so i'm just gonna take my blending brush and just kind of blend the edges a bit I actually really love this. Okay, it, it like lifts my face. I don't know if you can tell, but it just brings it up slightly. I really like that. And also the inner corner elongates the eye as well. So it's looking really pretty right now. There isn't really like a highlight shade in this apart from flyby. So I might just try putting that underneath the brow brow. Ooh, okay. That is actually quite a nice highlight shade. I thought it was matte. It's got like a slight sheen to it. So it picks up the light really nicely. Blend over that a bit so it all looks seamless. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna go do the other eye and then we're gonna do the lower lash line, which I have an idea, but I don't know quite yet. We shall see. So I'll be right back. All right, so I did my other eye and I've just tight lined my top lash line. And now I wanted to do a smoky bottom lash line. I've got a new eyeliner to try. This is by MUA and it's their intense color eyeliner in the shade Berry Wine. And I just thought, this would look a little bit different. I'm gonna take it about three quarters of the way in. And then we're gonna do a little bit of smudging work. It takes a little bit of warming up. It's a little bit chunktastic, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I like that. It's coming off more pink in the waterline. I wanted it more of a bare dark tone eyeliner, which I thought it was gonna be. You no, know, I thought it was gonna look like this, but instead it looks like this. <laughs> I'm try and remedy this. I'm gonna go in with Shade Sting from the Honey Palette, and I'm gonna go right over top. Have chunks of eyeliner in my lashes now, which is so annoying. Gonna go in with a little bit of swarm and just blend it out a little bit more. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad now that I've like blended it out with a different color, um, but that's a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping for a nice berry tone eyeliner. Just gonna try and do the same on the other eye and then I'm gonna pop some mascara on and be right back. Okay, I completely forgot I have a mascara to try. <laughs> so this is the Max Factor Masterpiece Matte what? <laughs> so this is the Max Factor Masterpiece Max High Volume and Definition Mascara. It's a plastic one and it doesn't look like there's a lot of product coming out of here. So it seems like a very dry formula. Let's give this a go. I'm very picky with mascara, so let's see if this can impress me. It literally feels like it's already tried out and I have not opened this. I literally had this as a gift for Christmas. It came in a set. I do have new Fenty Beauty Mascara that I really want to try, but I want to do a separate video on that by itself. This is a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> it is like separating my lashes, but also kind of clumping them up at the same time. <laughs> don't ask me how that's possible. I think I just don't like the wand. I don't know. It's okay for like a daily mascara where I don't want to have over the top lashes, which isn't that often. I'd probably reach for it, but it's not my favorite. So now on to lips. Now I have this one lipstick that I wanted to try, but I don't know because it's like a deep red. Maybe it'll look nice with these eyes. Let's try it out. I do actually have a lip liner I need to try as well. Gordon Lip Scum always goes on about pre-mark lip liners, so I picked one up. This is in the shade Salsa, so it's like a deep red. All right, so let's try this baby on. I actually think this might be a pretty good color for the lipstick. Hmm. Actually, that's quite creamy. Okay, apparently we are overlining our lips a lot today. <laughs> Oops. That was actually super 
super easy to use. It's not so creamy that it's like bleeding out of the lines. It's a really good lip liner. Okay, let's go in with the shade now. It's 9G11, I think. It doesn't actually have like a name on here. It's just like a red color. Let's see, I don't know if this is matte. I don't know if this is creamy. Let's just try it out. My lip liner was a little bit more pink than this is, but that's okay. This feels really comfortable. It's actually quite a pretty shade of red. I thought it was going to be too much, but I'm actually quite digging this look, like the eyes and the lips together. The lipstick is like a cream finish, but it's not slippy, so it's not sliding everywhere. And it's also a really nice shade of red. I think this look does call for a lash though. I'm going to go put a pair of lashes on and then I'll be right back. Alright, so with lashes on, I prefer it. A lot better. I feel like it just brought the whole look together, you know? This is the finished look with today's makeup. I think apart from the eyeliner and the mascara, oh, and the foundation shade, <laughs> everything worked out pretty well. I definitely want to get that foundation in my shade because my skin looks really good. Actually, I really love that blush. I feel like it's kind of disappeared a little bit, but I kind of prefer that because having a blush this color summer will probably be better. I like the fact though I can tone it down and make it just look like a little flush on my cheeks. The Tarte Shape Tape, I I still got like a lot of creasing underneath my eyes, like less than what I do with like my Jouer and even my e.l.f. concealer. The Shape Tape just isn't for me. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't work for my under eyes. And I know I love the Laura Mercier powder with my other concealers. I was quite surprised with the lip liner so good so affordable as well this was literally a pound in pre-mark the spectrum brushes that i used love obsessed i've always loved spectrum brushes though i have loads already the sponge i i'm not quite sure about it i feel like it absorbed quite a lot of product i don't like the way it applied my powder it is nice and squishy the size of it is similar to what a beauty blender is but the tip just isn't as pointed so i'd like to get into the under eye doesn't work as well and because it's like that squishy material again it's hard to get like the point in there i'll try it out a little bit more see if i can use it for like cream contour or anything like that but so far not fussed on the sponge oh and obviously the naked honey palette hello this is beautiful i love the tones in here i feel like we don't have a eyeshadow palette on the market like this either i don't know if i just you know i'm blind and i haven't been seeing it but these kind of tones i haven't come across anywhere else and i really really love this i feel like urban decay have up their game so much with eyeshadow the mattes blended effortlessly like they were so easy to blend but they didn't lose the pigment and then the shimmer on the lid again it's really nice it's not the kind of sheen i typically go for it's a soft sheen you can build it up and probably spray it and that'll make it more of a metallic look but the actual consistency of it is really nice and really creamy which is great let me just swatch a few of these actually like that was just one pass this is the shade golden Oof. and then this is the shade honey they are so much better quality than what they used to be with the over decay palettes that's just personally my take on them yeah i'm really in love with this palette again and I don't have anything quite like it in my collection but yeah that is it for this video I hope you guys stuck around till the end and you enjoyed this kind of chit chat chill try a new makeup video I will be doing a review on the Fenty mascara I'm so excited to try this one if it's already available I'll put a link in the eye over here for you guys to go ahead and see what the tea is about of this mascara I feel kind of weird not having like highlight on I mean I do have like a little bit but kind of liking it, not gonna lie, it's kind of different. Okay, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I hope you decide to stick around for the long haul. If you wanted to, all you need to do is hit the red subscribe button down below and the bell button, and that'll just notify you when I upload my next video. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> Dropping everything that I ate. <sighs> Skin feels really soft after the moisture. It's going to feel... Uh, I'm not going to take it all the way... I thought I put my nose then. Oh my gosh. Very dark red. And enjoyed this little chit chat. Kind of get ready move. And enjoyed this kind of like... Chitty chitty bang bang. Chitty chitty bang bang. We love you. Cannot get my words out. The matte blended 
Don't leave me out of 